Neanderthals, also known as Homo neanderthalensis, were a group of archaic humans who lived approximately 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. They are one of our closest extinct human relatives, sharing a common ancestor with modern humans about 600,000 years ago. Neanderthals primarily inhabited Europe and Western Asia, adapting to a variety of climates and environments over their existence. Neanderthals had distinct physical features that set them apart from modern humans. They were generally shorter and stockier, with a robust build that helped them survive in cold climates. Their skulls were elongated with a prominent brow ridge, a large nose, and a pronounced occipital bun at the back of the head. Their brains were slightly larger on average than those of modern humans, though this does not necessarily indicate greater intelligence. Neanderthals were skilled toolmakers, using the Lavalois technique to create sophisticated stone tools. This involved preparing a stone core and striking off flakes to produce tools with sharp edges. They made a variety of tools for hunting, butchering animals, and other tasks, including hand axes, scrapers, and points. Evidence suggests that they also used tools made from bone and possibly even composite tools. Neanderthals were primarily carnivorous, hunting large game such as mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, and deer. They used their tools and collaborative hunting strategies to take down these large animals. However, they also had a varied diet that included plants, nuts, and possibly seafood. Isotope analysis of Neanderthal bones indicates a high-protein diet, consistent with a significant reliance on meat. Neanderthals lived in small, closely-knit groups, likely consisting of extended family members. They exhibited signs of complex social behavior, such as caring for the sick and elderly, which indicates a strong sense of community and cooperation. There is also evidence that they buried their dead, sometimes with grave goods, suggesting ritualistic behavior and possibly a belief in an afterlife. While Neanderthals were once thought to lack symbolic behavior, recent discoveries have challenged this view. There is evidence of Neanderthal cave art, including geometric patterns and hand stencils. They also made personal ornaments from bones, teeth, and shells which indicates a capacity for symbolic thought and possibly a form of communication or social signaling. Neanderthals and modern humans Homo sapiens coexisted for several thousand years and interacted with each other. Genetic evidence shows that interbreeding occurred between the two species, and as a result, non-African modern human populations carry about 1-2% to Neanderthal DNA. This interbreeding may have provided some adaptive advantages to modern humans, such as improved immunity to certain diseases. The reasons for Neanderthal extinction around 40,000 years ago are still debated. Possible factors include competition with modern humans, climate change, and disease. Some theories suggest that Neanderthals were outcompeted by the more technologically advanced Homo sapiens, while others point to a gradual decline due to environmental pressures and reduced genetic diversity. Despite their extinction, Neanderthals have left a lasting legacy in the genetic makeup of modern humans and our understanding of human evolution. They were a resilient and adaptable species, capable of surviving in harsh environments and developing complex behaviors. Their story continues to fascinate scientists and the public alike, shedding light on the shared history and diversity of the human family. There was a complex relationship between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, involving interaction, conflict, and genetic exchange. Neanderthals and Homo sapiens coexisted in Europe and Western Asia for about 5,000 to 10,000 years. After Homo sapiens left Africa, they began migrating to the Middle East and Europe about 60,000 to 80,000 years ago, where they encountered Neanderthals. Genetic analyses show that matings occurred between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, and that these matings contributed to modern human DNA. Today, traces of Neanderthal DNA are found in about 1-2% to of the genomes of modern humans of European and Asian origin. This genetic exchange may have helped Homo sapiens to better adapt to certain environmental conditions. There may also have been cultural and technological interactions between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens are thought to have developed more sophisticated tools and weapons, had more advanced social organizations and artistic skills. This could mean that Neanderthals adopted or learned from some Homo sapiens technologies. There may have been competition for resources and possibly conflict between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Since both species shared similar ecological niches, it is likely that they competed for food, shelter, and hunting grounds. This competition may have negatively affected the population and habitat of Neanderthals, contributing to their extinction. The exact cause of Neanderthals' extinction around 40,000 years ago is still debated. However, it is thought that interactions with Homo sapiens played an important role in this process. Homo sapiens' superior technology, wider social networks, and better adaptability may have limited Neanderthal habitats and populations. The relationship between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens was a complex series of interactions involving elements of genetic exchange, cultural interaction, and competition. This relationship has had a lasting impact on the evolution and genetic diversity of modern humans. Even today, the legacy of Neanderthals lives on in the modern human genome and in our cultural history. Um, 
If Neanderthals had dominated Homo sapiens, history could have been shaped very differently. The various consequences and possible impacts of such a scenario can be considered as follows. A world in which Neanderthals dominated Homo sapiens would have led to a different evolution of technological development. Neanderthals used different tools and techniques than Homo sapiens, so a different understanding of technology and engineering could develop across the world. Homo sapiens made significant advances in art and symbolic thinking. If Neanderthals had been dominant, artistic and cultural expressions might have been different. There is evidence that Neanderthals also had the capacity for symbolic thought, but how these capacities might have differed from those of Homo sapiens is open to speculation. Neanderthals had a different social structure and social organization than Homo sapiens. They lived in smaller, closer communities. This kind of social structure could have influenced the development of large and complex civilizations. Homo sapiens had a great evolutionary advantage in language and communication. It is thought that Neanderthals may also have used some form of language, but the structure and complexity of this language may have been different from that of Homo sapiens. This could have made a big difference in how it would have affected knowledge transfer and cultural accumulation. If Neanderthals had dominated, the genetic makeup of modern human populations could have been very different. The further spread of Neanderthal genes could have led to significant changes in human biological traits. The biological characteristics of Neanderthals were different from those of Homo sapiens. These differences could have affected human environmental adaptation and evolutionary direction. For example, the fact that Neanderthals were better adapted to cold climates could have affected the geographical distribution of human populations and their lifestyles. Important historical events such as the agricultural revolution of Homo sapiens and the development of cities and civilizations could have unfolded differently under Neanderthal dominance. This could have profoundly affected the course of human history and the nature of civilizations. Homo sapiens' interest in science, technology, and discoveries might have developed differently under Neanderthal rule. This could have changed the timing and nature of modern scientific revolutions and technological advances. A world in which Neanderthals dominated Homo sapiens would have profoundly changed many aspects of human history. Different paths of development in cultural, technological, social, and biological fields could have been followed. However, it is difficult to predict the full implications of such a scenario, because the differences and potential interactions between these two human species can be very complex and diverse.